Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Spiritual Rain. My name is Rain. I'm outside on my land on this beautiful November morning. It's kind of chilly, but I want to experience being outside as often as possible because I feel like a caged animal in the winter. <laughs> I can't handle the cold and it gets very cold here. So any chance I can get to be outside, I'm outside. And I wanted to share this with you today. I also wanted to share uh, my thoughts on angels. And I actually, I'm sitting in a spot in my yard where back here you could see the bird feeder. There are a lot of chickadees around, so I hope that you can see them flying back and forth. There's one at, yep, there's one at the feeder right now. I love chickadees. They're so cute and they're fun to watch and they're not afraid of humans. Once in a while I feed them on my hand and I'll do that again this winter and I'll try to get a video for you. So, as many of my friends know I'm I'm an open book I don't hide anything I spent a lot of time um, in my 30s and 40s hiding and I spent too much energy doing that because I was afraid of I don't even know what I was afraid of I was just paranoid and I didn't I didn't want to share myself with anybody but I think when I hit kind of my late 40s, I decided to put that energy towards connecting with people and connecting with my spirit and um, just sharing my life. And I can tell you that that has been very rewarding for me. And I wanted to share a little bit today with you about my spirituality and my newfound belief in angels and my upbringing. I was brought up in quite a fundamentalist style religious house, if I can say that. And it was fear-based and shame-based and it was forced upon me. Now I'm not bashing any religion at all or spirituality. If it promotes kindness and joy, I'm all for it because I think faith is a wonderful thing to have. I used to, um, as I think we all do, when you're trying to find your spiritual path, I went through a phase of atheism and those were my darkest days. I hated everything around me and I had no joy and no gratitude. And once I found my faith, things started looking up for me and I started feeling better. But naturally as I grew into adulthood and I moved away from that situation, I also moved away from that religion and it was Christianity and I actually started to resent it. I resented anything that had to do with Christianity. Jesus, praying, churches, angels, archangels, spirits, even incense, anything that had to do with Christianity or my experience going to church, um, I wanted to do away with. I was punished for questioning it. And I was a very curious child and teenager, but every time I questioned it, like I said, I was punished. So, oh, a chickadee just flew by my hat. <laughs> I love them. In any case, over the years, as I was trying to find myself, I knew that I was a nature lover and I knew that I belonged with the earth and that what I saw, I was in awe of. I saw the sunrise, I saw the beautiful forest and mountains. I saw the wildlife. And to me, that was much more comforting as a spirituality. So that's what I went with. Now, I'm going to mention something about my shadow side that I'm not particularly proud of. But mentioning it is okay because it is part of me and I've accepted it. There were times as recently as maybe a year ago, where I was extremely judgmental about anyone who mentioned anything about Christianity, anything that I associated with it. And inside, I kind of went and made fun of that. And for the last year and a half, I've been having, or I was having the most challenging time of my life. And there were many times when I would pray. I remembered that the Archangel Michael, from you know my upbringing, I remember that he was the 
protector of mankind, and that he guided people towards healthy relationships, and that he just generally had your back if you asked him for it. So I started to pray to the Archangel Michael, asking him if he would help me, if he would guide me and protect me, because I was very, like I said, it was I was having the most challenging times of my life. It was crazy. and But deep down, I never believed what I was praying in. So nothing ever came of it. And it kind of made me feel like, oh, well, I was right. He doesn't exist. They don't exist. But you see, my belief or my disbelief, my unwillingness to believe, proved myself right that he didn't exist. Because when I was praying, I was just going through the motions and I wasn't really believing what I was praying in. And then I started questioning my belief in the universe. I started questioning my entire spirituality. And this really did happen over the last six months or maybe six months ago was at the worst. And I never showed it, you know. Um, there was one day that I was feeling particularly low and I was walking the dogs on the Blueberry Field Trail. And I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just believe. I'm gonna believe. I have to believe. You know, if the sun rises every day, why can't the Archangel Michael exist, right? So I call them my walk and talks with the universe. When I walk the dogs, I'm always chatting with the universe. <laughs> so I, I started chatting with the Archangel Michael. But I, like I said, I was feeling really low and I was crying and I was asking him to please help me and please guide me and show me something that I can you know, some way for me to know which way to go in my life, what I'm supposed to do because of all these challenges I was going through. And then at one point, I just kind of, I looked up into the sky and I said, Archangel Michael, I believe in you. I know you'll help me. I believe in you. And I'm not kidding. Within seconds, I felt heat from this shoulder to this shoulder, all along my back, up to the base of my neck. And it wasn't a hot day. I wasn't in the sun. I wasn't having a hot flash. <laughs> I felt the Archangel Michael's wings on me. And I got so emotional, I started to cry. It was a life-changing moment for me. And I remember I mentioned this to my friend Evie from Fairy Wren Ness Whispers, sorry. I'm sorry, Evie, if I didn't get that right. I'll put her link in the, um, in the description below. Fairy Wren Whispers, I think. Um, I told her about this, and then I said something like, you know, I never thought being a pagan that it would sound natural for me to say I'm believing in an archangel because I was taught that if you believe in angels, you have to believe in demons. And if you believe in demons, you have to believe in God and you have to believe in heaven and hell. And I don't believe in those things. And I remember her saying something like, well, who came up with that rule? And I just, I thought that was such a great thing to say. And Evie, I'm so happy that you said that because <laughs> it's true, who came up with that rule? This is my spirituality. I decide what I believe in and what I don't believe in, right? And from that day forward, I was a true believer in the archangels, especially the Archangel Michael. And the next time I went out, I had many experiences with the Archangel Michael. Another time when I went out walking the dogs, it was um, a very cool, cloudy morning. And I was just feeling great. And I said, you know, Archangel Michael, thank you for guiding me. Thank you for protecting me. I know you're there. I know you're listening to me. If you don't mind, could you show me a sign just to show me that I'm making the right decisions and I'm on the right path? And not, no kidding, within a minute, I saw a rainbow appear right in front of me. Here's a picture of it. I saw this rainbow and, okay, some scientists could probably debunk this and say that it was atmospheric conditions. But I didn't believe it, that it was just a coincidence. I believe that the Archangel Michael was showing me a rainbow to show me a sign. And again, I was in awe and I burst into tears and I just, I couldn't believe it. 
And another time I went out and I said the same thing. I said, you know, things are going well in my life. Or can you just show me that I'm on the right path? And I looked up and I looked around and I kept, you know, I kept my eyes open and my mind open. And it was a cloudy day again, but there was, there was only cloud on one side of the sky. The other sky was quite clear. And all of a sudden I saw a little cloud formation happening and this is what it was. I saw it as a face. And I saw it as the face of Archangel Michael, just showing me, yeah, you're doing good, Rain. I got your back. <laughs> it was amazing. And it, it made me feel great. And after that experience, it started, I started to have a stronger belief in the universe and in the divine universe. And I started leaving all of my problems up to the universe and trusting that the universe had my back and knew what was right for me and what I needed and would provide for me. And some of those problems that I was convinced were unsolvable started to solve, started to have solutions without me doing anything. Things just started to happen. And a huge shift happened in my life where all of these struggles that were in my life before started to fade away. Solutions happened, things changed, people changed, attitudes changed. And I started to feel overwhelmingly in awe of the universe. And now I pray to the universe every single day and I pray to the Archangel Michael every single day and without fault. I am a true believer now. I truly believe that Archangels and angels and spirit guides and animal, animal spirit guides, yes, they are spirit guides now and angels, but they were once human. They once lived on this earth. And I'm sure that they were such kind, wonderful people and animals that they became these this strong energy and became energy guides for people and people look to them because all they want to do is help people on earth and that's overwhelming it's very overwhelming um, I have a few other signs that I wanted to share with you from the Archangel Michael another time when I went out um, I do see deer here a lot deer is my spirit guide one of them and I relate to deer a lot a lot and anytime I'm questioning anything I just have to take this little needle thing down because it's bugging me it's right in my eye <laughs> I hope that wasn't too distracting thank you tree <laughs> um, the deer to me it always appeared to me when I was in crisis always and the message to me was be graceful, uh, keep your eyes open, and watch your back, but be graceful about it. That was always the message I got from deer. So another time I was out and I was chatting with Archangel Michael, I asked him to show me a sign, and again, uh, a pack of five deer just ran maybe 30 feet ahead of me. The dogs went crazy, but five deer, I'd never seen that many never seen that many and I could probably think about the numerology behind it but for me it was just another sign from the Archangel Michael that I was definitely on the right path and that I was exhibiting grace and that um, I was keeping my eyes open for for trouble ahead and I have the uh, Archangel animal oracle right here by Diana Cooper I really like it and this is going to be one of my study guides for the winter and I just started looking at uh, the cards and I pulled this card, the deer, deer card. I think these cards are really beautiful. And this card is associated with the Archangel Michael. So for me, that was another kind of synchronicity. And I'm just gonna read a sentence from the guidebook. The deer card is reminding you to trust the universe, to look after and support you to trust your own deepest intuition, then follow its guidance. I mean, how, how synchronized is that? Everywhere I'm looking, I'm getting signs and I'm not, you know, there's, <laughs> there's a movie with Jim Carrey. I think I've mentioned this before. It's called the number 33. 
And he kind of goes insane because he's seeing the number 33 and everything. And every number adds up to 33 or 3 and 3. And he's just overlooking for that number. And that's not what I'm doing. Whenever I ask for guidance, I always see a sign now. And it's really amazing. And I wanted to share something with you. Um, I have some notes so that I don't forget. On Samhain, I did a few... Um, divinations. I looked into my crystal ball and I asked the angels, in particular the Archangel Michael, for another sign, maybe to show me some images or some messages or some guidance. And I saw a lot of faces. Some of them were a little scary actually. They were big eyes and imagine clown eyes, you know, scary clown eyes. That's what I saw at first. But then it sort of developed into a panther face. And it was a very obvious panther face. And then next to the panther face, what I saw in my crystal ball was a hooded figure from the back, cloaked in white. And I wrote notes so I wouldn't forget here. I'm just going to read this. The, the person cloaked in white was moving towards the panther. I did some research and I read that the panther spirit animal is powerful and protective. If you divine a panther, you're blessed with a fierce guardian. And the white cloaked figure moving towards the panther made me think that that was the Archangel Michael showing me I'm moving towards him and he is my fierce guardian. Like, how amazing is that? How secure do I feel in myself and my spirituality and in my life? It's unbelievable. And just on that note of divination and energy, another thing I did on Samhain was I took out my homemade spirit board, my homemade Ouija board and my pendulum, and I contacted my late dog Marlene and my other two late dogs, my late pugs, Winston and Spencer. And I asked them individually if they were with me. And yes, they were with me. Now for my pendulum, whenever my pendulum tells me yes, it goes like this, left to right. And I also had the Ouija board, which has a word on it, yes. So when I was asking what I call now my energy babies, <laughs> when I was asking them each individually how they were, I asked them if they were okay, yes, I got the pendulum swinging left to right. And then I asked them individually if their energy was with me. And I, I wish I had this on video. The pendulum was swinging like crazy back and forth, left to right. And then when I asked them if their energy would be with me always, it went from swinging crazy left to right to swinging towards the word yes on my Ouija board. And it was swinging so much that I, fit, I thought it was going to do a loop. And so I said, okay, guys, calm down. <laughs> you know, I love you. Calm down. I know you're with me. And so it started to calm down. And I asked them if they go for walks on me, or walks with me, and big yeses also. And just to sort of test things out, I asked them, you know, I asked them, um, are they lonely? And it switched from yes to no. And I asked if they play together, yes. And I feel their energy. It's a warm, cozy energy, I feel. So on my walk and talks on the blueberry fields when I bring Jack and Charlie out, I also have my energy babies with me and I talk to them as well. And I've just, I mentioned that because I feel like I've had a life-changing moment when I first felt the Archangel Michael's wings on my back. So what I do is I have this, this beautiful, I hope you can see it, rose quartz crystal. I want to hold it in my hand, but it's kind of the same color as my hand. <laughs> so I'm trying to hold it against my sweater so you can see it. It's a rose quartz crystal and this crystal symbolizes self-love and divine love. So. What I've done is I've dedicated this crystal to the Archangel Michael. 
and it's always on my altar and whenever I leave the house it's in my pocket I always have my fierce guardian with me and it comforts me so much and it makes me feel confident and it makes me love myself and love the universe that much more and I really feel like a spiritual being like I said it was life-changing I used to associate prayer with punishment and fear and shame but now I associate prayer with awe and joy and comfort happiness and gratitude so I just wanted to share that today my life-changing moment when it came to facing a part of my shadow letting go of my judgment believing without proof feeling the wings the heat of his protective wings on me seeing all the signs which I continue to see and dedicating my rose quartz to the Archangel Michael and this winter when things slow down a little bit I'm going to be doing a lot more angel work and a lot more animal angel link to links to the the animals to the archangels and I'm going to be contacting more archangels and calling upon them if I need guidance or help or messages so I'd like to know what you think about all this I know what some of you already think and and just a note to Martha, who has mentioned um, bringing Jesus back into her life as a man and as a spirit guide. Um, I think that's beautiful. And though Jesus isn't a part of my spirit hood, <laughs> hood, you know, not spirit hood, but my hood, my tribe, I, I've been reading a lot about, you know, the man Jesus recently and I actually had a book a long time ago called Jesus the Man and I might try to find that book again because I'm it's hard to explain how my spirituality has opened up so much and how I want a deeper level of experience here so I'm going to be doing a lot of um, learning over the winter and until then I'm just I'm leaving all of my troubles up to the universe up to the Archangel Michael I'm walking and talking I'm thanking them I'm counting my blessings every day and I have to say another thing since I started this spiritual channel um, my belief my spirituality my gratitude my love and all of my blessings have come alive and my life has sh shifted big time so that I thank the universe for, for giving me the courage to open myself up like this. But I also want to thank all of my friends for their encouragement and for their channels, for showing me their way, because I've been influenced by that and I've been motivated and inspired by it. So I want to thank you all for your lovely channels. Uh, I want to thank Jackie for helping me out recently, doing a nice... Um, Celtic cross reading for me that was very sweet um, Tanya for really all of your knowledge every time I watch your videos I just it's like a quick tarot lesson for me the entire tarot you're wonderful for sharing all that information Evie for just your your sweetness and for inspiring me to do certain things you know like you had a video on um, your words the, the magical letters which I'm gonna do too with my boggle letters <laughs> and of course Martha you know my bad girl all of you my friend Nick who's always been my spiritual sister my witchy sister we used to call each other witchy sisters <laughs> oh gosh there's so many people that I want to mention and one day I will mention all of you I just I'm in love with my life right now and I want to thank you all for being a part of it